In this video, you're gonna be seeing a lot of pink. Be prepared. The Panthermobile was created to feature in the opening and end credits of the 1969 Pink Panther Show, a spin-off from the successful Inspector Clouseau films of the 1960s. It cost around £330,000 in today's money to build, a fair amount to shell out for the credits of a kids' cartoon show. It continued in the vein of other TV shows such as the Monkey Mobile and the Batmobile. Built on the chassis of an Oldsmobile Toronado, it used a 7-litre Oldsmobile V8 engine mounted longitudinally behind the driver's head, which drove front wheels that had a wider track than the rear wheels. It measured 7 metres long and 1.8 metres wide, with an exposed driving compartment. With the driving position far forward of the front wheels, driving it was a challenge, as could be seen from the opening credits of the show. With no rearview mirror, a black and white TV monitor was used instead. In the credits, it's made to look like a child is driving the car, although it's an adult with a helmet. But I, for one, was very jealous of that kid. Behind the open cockpit was a compartment accessed by a large clamshell door opening to the curbside, which contained pink shag covered reclining seats, square tufted upholstery, half a dozen faux fur pillows, a car phone and a bar. For some reason, or does it need a reason on a car like this, the back seemed to have some sort of rear bench seat with a TV aerial added for good measure. The car was designed by Jay Orberg and Ed Newton and created by several people including Ed Roth. They'd worked on other outlandish creations such as the Orbitron and their cars generally looked like Hot Wheels cars come to life. In reality, these cars would go on to inspire the sorts of cars that Hot Wheels produced. Two years later, and the Pink Panther show started using alternate credits. There wasn't much call for a seven meter long mad pink car that wasn't street legal and was impossible to drive, so the car languished until 2011 when it was bought at auction by Galpin Autosports of California, who'd also found the Orbitron languishing in a side alley in Mexico being used as a skip. They now have probably the largest Ed Roth collection anywhere in the world. This was a labour of love for the team, who loved the work that Ed Roth and Ed Newton had done and wanted to preserve it, and they did a complete restoration. The Panthermobile is a legacy of a group of Southern California dreamers who dared to take their wild drawings and turn them into real cars. A big thank you to all my patrons for supporting me. To get early advert-free access to new videos or to appear in the credits, please consider supporting me using the Patreon link below from just $1 or 80p a month and hit that subscribe button to get notified of new videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.